for glaucoma treatment, um, it tends to fall within three separate categories. So there's medical treatment, there's laser treatment, and there's surgical treatment. Um, and medications as well as some laser procedures fall into lower risk um, treatments that we typically start with for patients who have more advanced disease or who have failed medical or laser options. Surgical uh, options may be a consideration in their case. At Minnesota Eye Consultants, our glaucoma service is, uh, is uh, um, second to none. Uh, we really are able to offer all medical uh, options and surgical options to correct uh, intraocular pressure or to manage a patient's glaucoma. There's significant amounts of diagnostic technology that's required to not only uh, confirm that a patient may have glaucoma, uh, but really more importantly to be able to monitor patients over time uh, to determine if their glaucoma is stable or potentially progressing. We then have the ability to deal with whatever we need to to, to hopefully stabilize a patient's disease uh, and maintain their vision throughout their lifetime. So there are a wide variety of treatment options available to glaucoma patients and it's important to customize these options to your preferences. Uh, the mainstay of glaucoma treatment early on is often glaucoma medication, uh, specifically eye drops. If for whatever reason glaucoma medications are too expensive or the regimen is too hard to stick to, oftentimes we'll turn to glaucoma laser therapy to help uh, decrease the intraocular pressure of the eyes. Um, and then for some, the medications and the lasers uh, aren't a great option, and then we have to talk about uh, glaucoma surgical intervention. And glaucoma surgical intervention um, encompasses a variety of options. Um, one of the newer options in town is a, a classification called minimally invasive glaucoma surgery where there is less or minimal in incisional work that is done to the eyes. Um, and then there are the traditional surgical options where we might offer something like a trabeculectomy where we're surgically creating a new drain for the fluid to come out of the eye or placing an implant called a tube shunt into the eye to facilitate outflow.